hog nose. Wait a minute. That's a hog nose. Yes. That is so cool looking. Look at that. I've never caught. Oh my. Oh, dude, I've always thought that there might be hog noses out here. I've never in my life actually seen one. I've always heard that these were like slightly venomous. No, hog noses aren't. Dude, this is a awesome. No, this is, these aren't poisonous at all. This is a hognose snake. Six storm. Right this is a hognose. I've never. The road is perfect right now. But look, they they'll play dead sometimes too. But these guys, it's like they, what's that thing? It what, like how spreads they flat, the, how they flatten their head? Yeah. That's only when he's kind of agitated. Yeah, but look. This is how they normally look. So where their head says. But you see its nose? How it kind of shoots out like that? That's beautiful. That's why it's called a hog nose. Right? Dude, I thought it hit him. I'm so happy I didn't. This is a really cool find. This baby, baby hog nose. Dude, I've never in Oklahoma seen a hog nose. Or even heard of them being out here. But I saw saw a dead snake one time, and I didn't think it was a hog nose. It wasn't, but I it got me thinking. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's hog noses out here, and I was right. This is, this is a beautiful snake. They eat toads and eggs. They eat lots of frogs, and they'll eat eggs too. But they're not they're not really uh, that much of a predator. But that's why a lot of people when they keep hog noses as pets, because they're really good pets. Um, what they'll do is they'll they'll keep toads because when you keep toads the hog noses they won't eat a normal pinky mouse because um they don't eat mice in the wild they eat toads and eggs so you can feed them baby quail eggs little quail eggs or um what you do is you rub the pinky ma mouse on onto the toad and it makes the, it, the mouse smell like a toad and then they'll eat the pinky mouse no but this this kind of looks like a sidewinder which is a type of rattlesnake but yeah. it's not did i hear? see its tail there's its, it's tail very okay guys we're taking this sucker back um, now there is a myth that these guys are venomous but they're actually uh their venom is only really toxic to the animals that eat so yeah. What a cool cat. This is a this is a rat snake right here. Ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. It's a pretty good size one too. I was just over by the barn flipping some flipping some tin, just kind of messing around after we found that hog nose. And they don't he hasn't tried to bite me one time yet, so that's good. I don't want to take any chances. These are beautiful snakes. They do exactly what they sound like. They eat rats. But, yeah, I just went out herping. A few minutes. I found this little sucker. He was just sitting there, and so I, I grabbed him. He's fighting pretty He's good. about ready to climb up that tree. Oh, look. You see what he's doing with his tail? A lot of snakes will do that. Here, look. Watch him climb this tree. Beautiful snake. I love how they're dark at the top and get lighter at the bottom. The second I caught him, I knew what he was. But they they are climbers. I've, I've seen a lot around here in trees and stuff. But look at that. Look how he's just scaling that tree. He was real strong, too. When I first caught him, I was like, whoa. But, We want these around the farm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These are the best kind of snakes to have around the farm. Because bull snakes, they're kind of mean. These guys, some are mean, but for the most part, they're not they're not horrible. I mean you can see this guy how he 
he's not being mean at all. He's quite friendly. But, man, I thought it was a king snake because all I saw, all I saw was his black head. But um, then I saw this pattern after pulling him out of the tent. I lifted it up and I saw his head. So I grabbed his head and he was trying to pull away. So I pulled it up and I finally got him. He was a real strong snake, but huh. look under every scale. It's got red. Ooh. Every scale. Let's see how he's red. I'm gonna go back to that barn and see if I can't catch another one. But this is the day for snakes. We've caught how many snakes? One. We two, caught the three. eastern hognose snake. This is my sixth snake today. I mean, we yeah. caught the western hognose snake. Beautiful snake. I'm so glad that I saw it. What else I just found? Remember that trap we found? That was there? And we're gonna just let him go on this tree? No, we'll let him back go. Exactly where we found him. Okay. Pretty snake. Very pretty. Let's go show them. Okay, so we're gonna release this guy a little bit closer to the house just because we like rat eaters. He's probably been all up in here. I mean, the place I found him is in that barn right there. But, oh wow. Head like shots in the sun, kind of. Anyways, we're just gonna let him climb right here. Just let him go right here. Yeah. Let's see what he does. Yeah, they're pretty good climbers. Yeah, you can climb me if I try to film it. That's cool. That is awesome. Dude, that's I'm so glad I flipped that thing. <laughs> Bull snake. Dude. Look at, that. Look at his head too. I've never seen one with a head quite like that. It's got a nice underbone too. And it's shiny. Do that mic? So cool. I'm so he was just coiled up like right where even was he? 